All right, so we've got a new project for the channel. Um, this is a 1997 Mazda Miata. It's got the 1.8 liter. We have the five speed, 151,000 original miles. As you can see there, uh, we have OEM seats. They had seat covers, so they are pretty clean. Um, the whole car is nasty altogether. It's been sitting for about six months and it has been washed in three years. So all of this dingy looking paint will hopefully clean up. That's the, uh, the plan. So still got stock wheels. We've got a exhaust leak, so it's a little bit loud. But the video today, we're gonna be showing, can you swap a lawn and garden mower battery into your Miata? Um, the battery was almost the same. I took some measurements. Um, it was about seven and three quarters wide for an OEM battery and a little over seven inches tall. Um, so you have your battery mount here in the trunk. So basically what we have to do with this battery style, we have uh, these pole terminals um, that you bolt directly to. With a traditional, you have your round terminals and it slips over and clamps onto the terminal. So to fix that, we got these. Uh, they're like $3, Vance Auto Parts. Here is the five and, or five sixteenths, uh, two gauge copper ring lugs. So not bad, it was like, 399 or something super cheap uh, but the battery for this thing was 140 dollars for the oem battery or 49.99 plus the four dollars so we're gonna see if it works and if it does that's almost a hundred and almost a hundred dollars that you saved so you can put it into something else um for example we're gonna build a roll bar for this thing and do some other cosmetics we're gonna see how it turns out all right so i've got them Connected, I just cut them back a little bit and then squeezed them on with a pair of pliers. Probably should have crimped them properly, but eh, what the heck. So, positive, negative, and we're gonna put the battery in. All right, so we've got the lawnmower battery installed. A um, little tricky, I accidentally connected these backwards um, just because of the whole situation when I cut them. Uh, anyway, long story short, it's connected now. I had to replace the main fuse, 80 amp, um, it was $4, went to O'Reilly's and they had one, fortunately. So, got that taken care of, car runs again. Uh, yeah, so that was kind of close. So, here it is, we're going to work on cleaning it up. And the battery operates just like a normal car battery. Um, we just saved about 100 bucks. So, keep that in mind if you guys want to do this yourself. We were curious to see what some rubbing compound would do to the factory paint. Here you can see a nice contrasted line, just applying it by hand. Next, we're gonna go over the entire car and finish with polish. If you wanna see more on this build, hit that like button and subscribe for more.